Hey guys, welcome back. This is an updated video for the free version. Once you log in, you put your password, you just need an email and you will get a, a password and then you can change it up here. If you go to change password and then this is gonna be your dashboard. Uh, here, you can just press don't show this again. Uh, right now we have no assets, nothing. This is the dashboard. If we go to wallets, then uh, I can change here. I can say buy frost. And then once I create, this can be an exchange or this can be a wallet. It doesn't matter if it's a cold wallet, a hard wallet, it doesn't matter. So let's say add asset. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna put one Ethereum. Here it is, token amount one. And then let's say that my per average purchase price was $2,200. This, it might be hard for you to go back. If you have this data, put it in. If not, more or less make an average and then you can add and then it will track your average price. Here, I'm gonna deposit it. I'm gonna say that I'm gonna put it in Bifrost. This is the current price. Purchase date, same for old positions. It's not that important, but for new positions, you would put that keeps track. So now it says that I have one asset, which is Ethereum. And then, and then let's add another asset. All right, and now, so we are on Ethereum and then I want to add the US, uh, real USDT. So in this case, it doesn't exist. I'm going to create a re, uh, new asset, RLUSD. And then here, what I would do is go to Coinbase. Well, for some reason it's showing me pesos, but if, if, if it was in, Mex in the States, it would show dollars, it doesn't matter. The price feed doesn't matter. It's what it's important is this. And then you can suggest it. And then on top of that, on the back end, when, when I authorize it, I'm going to check and probably add more uh, feeds, price feeds for better redundancy. Here you cre create asset. We added the asset and now I go here. I can see it. And then the token name, yeah, that's it. Let's say that I have $500. Uh, this would be one. And then let's say that I have it on uphold. So that's the current price. This is fetching automatically, add asset. Okay, so now uphold should show, show this and the price takes a minute to update, but it should come out there. So now if I go to dashboard, it's gonna tell me my current value. Remember we bought uh, $2,200 Ethereum. So this is telling me my PNL, this is my total profits. What's my average position? Here's telling me that I have in my wallet all of this amount and the assets own Ethereum RLUSD. And then if I go to profit strategy, all right, so if I go to profit strategy, this I need to fix. Uh, Stablecoin should not be taken into consideration, but here I have the purchase price. This would be an average. So if I keep adding, it's going to add it. And then here I can set up a, a custom strategy. Let's say that I want to sell 25% at $5,000. This is not financial advice. I'm just giving you an example. And then I want to sell 30% of my remaining tokens at $9,500. And then I want to sell 100% by $22,000. Save custom targets. If I go here, it says how many tokens at the price target, I have to sell this amount of tokens. At uh, the second price target, 30% would be 0.22. And then the remaining would be 0.52 ETH. And this would be the result. All right, guys, I hope you help. Uh, this helps. And then if you find any bugs, you can just go here to send suggestions and bug or suggestion. You type it here. You can send us a screenshot, especially if it's a bug. I would appreciate if you send the screenshots and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. All right, guys, until next time.